Hi, this is Mark Chan, your Photoshop mentor. You are about to watch the part 2 video of Histogram Demystified. This video contains the answers and discussions for the quiz from the part 1 video. You are supposed to be endowed with a super knowledge about Histogram before you get to this point. Watching them in the wrong order will result in intellectual indigestion. So stop now and watch part 1 if you haven't done so. So the quiz was about matching five images to their histograms. Ready for the answers? Here we go. Image number one matches histogram A. This is an image of the tourists touring the magnificent Niagara Falls. The image is underexposed due to the foggy condition which resulted in total lack of highlight. Now look at the histogram. Histogram A has nothing at all in the right one-third range of the brightness. For the rest, it has a high peak at a brightness slightly brighter than mid-tone. This is contributed by the large area of the waterfalls. Going on to the even darker pixels, you can clearly see the dark area on the raincoats contributed to the low peaks on the left side of the histogram. Image number two matches histogram E. A very foggy condition in a bay at Arcadia National Park. The fog is so thick that the only thing visible was a row of trees on the shore. Histogram E indicates two groups of pixels, both in the highlight range. One is slightly brighter than the other. Isn't this a perfect description for the sky and water and trees of image two? This should be an obvious one. Image number three matches histogram B. This is a display about the life of moths at a science museum. The image is predominantly black or nearly black. The moths are very bright, but the counts of their pixels are no match to the count of the background's pixels. Therefore, histogram B with a heavy bias towards the left is a perfect match for it. This is another easy one, isn't it? Image number four matches histogram C. A granite tile somewhere in Quebec, Canada. Because the granite does not provide a big range of brightness, the image is inevitably low contrast, or in layman's term, flat. How does a histogram visualize a flat image? All structures concentrate on the mid-tone and nothing at highlight and shadow. And histogram C is just that. Image number five matches histogram D. The flashy uniforms at Citadel de Quebec make great photo op. This is perhaps the only normal looking image among the five. Normal images actually make hard cases to match the histogram because of its lack of special characters. However, some careful analysis will shed the light. The large, bright ground obviously contributed to the peak in the highlight. Other than that, the large furry headgears and the black pants are responsible for the smaller concentration near the black point in histogram. How many did you answer correctly? If you get all of them right, you are armed with the sharpest tool in the digital photography world. If you miss some, keep on using histogram, keep on thinking about it, it will come to you. If you like my teaching style, you might want to check out my Photoshop book at Amazon.com. Creative Wedding Album Design with Adobe Photoshop has an in-depth discussion on histogram. It will be a fun Photoshop book to read even if you will never make a wedding album in your life. Look for more titles from me in 2010, including a must-read about Camera Raw. Happy photoshopping!